If you want to do more tricep dips, there may be two reasons why you struggle. Number one is you're just too heavy. Because the tricep dip is a body weight exercise which uses almost 100% of your body weight as resistance, the heavier you are, the more load and resistance you put on yourself, making the movement harder. Even if you're really strong, if you're too heavy, it's going to be a lot harder for you to perform the movement. The second reason is you might not be strong enough. The tricep dip is a pushing movement, and if your pushing strength is lacking, then your tricep dips will also lack. Even if you weigh less, even if you're at a reasonable weight, if you're not strong enough, you will struggle with this movement. You're just not strong enough to provide and support and push your own body weight up. So what are some ways that you can improve the tricep dip? First, let's go over what you can do if you're a beginner. This is for people who can barely do tricep dips or can't even do one right now. Firstly is to do easier variations. Variations such as the machine dip, the assistant machine dip, or even a banded dip. These easier variations will get you used to the movement while allowing your body to do a movement and a resistance that it is capable of doing. And make sure you challenge yourself. Focus on progressive overload, which means increasing the difficulty whenever that is in reps, weight, sets, whatever. You want to increase the difficulty over time until you get to the point where you can comfortably do body weight dips. And the second way to improve dips is to focus on other similar pushing movements. Some great examples are the bench press and overhead press. These movements stimulate the same kinds of muscle and can be progressively overloaded very easily as well. And thus, that strength from your standing overhead press may carry over to your dips. And one last tip is to boost your relative strength. Relative strength is your strength correlated with your body weight. What this means is you want to do one of these two things, either lower your weight, but maintain your strength or just increase your strength while putting on little to no body fat. This will increase your relative strength, allowing you to get super strong while maintaining a relatively reasonable body weight. Relative strength isn't like Eddie Hall. He lifts a lot of weights, but he also weighs a lot. But relative strength is like a calisthenics athlete or for example chris Perry, someone who doesn't weigh that much but can lift a ton of weight especially when you relate that weight to his body weight if you want to improve your tricep dips if you can already do a few tricep dips but you want to do more here's some few tips that you can incorporate number one is to prioritize tricep dips into your workouts many people don't do dips in their workouts and as a main exercise either it's accessory work or at the very end of your workouts. If you want to really get better at dips, you want to prioritize them, which means you want to do them as one of the first exercises you do. I do dips as my second exercise in my push days because I'm really prioritizing them and I want to get better at them. Next is rep range. To build strength, you want to be training in the one to six rep range. However, you can experiment with rep ranges. And for say, I recommend you train for dips around four to eight reps in order to maximize strength and also the potential amount of reps that you can do with dips. And finally, focus on progressive overload. Whenever that is sets, reps, weight, you want to progressively overload. If you can already do body weight dips comfortably, the best way to progressively overload is to add weight. You can buy a dip belt online for about $20. They're relatively cheap. You can buy a dip belt or you can just get a backpack and fill it with weights. Or you can literally use anything that you can comfortably put on your body during a dip as resistance. By adding weight, that is the best way to progressively overload. You can easily progressively overload, making sure you get stronger at the lift and also making sure that you challenge yourself rather than just repeating an exercise over and over again that you find easy. By following these few simple steps, you can drastically improve and increase your dip numbers drastically. These have worked for me and I went from barely doing one to five dips to doing over 30 dips. So in summary, here are the steps that you need to follow. If you cannot do a tricep dip, follow these steps. Use an easier variation. Do an assisted machine dip, a regular machine dip, or even a banded dip. These easier variations will allow you to get used to the movement and focus on progressive overload, challenge your body, and increase the difficulty every time you reach a goal. Use a full range of motion and progressively overload. Try to train in a one to six rep range. If you can already do a dip, then here's what you need to do. Prioritize dips as one of the first exercises in your workout. Make sure you train around four to eight reps 
This is the rep range that I believe will help maximize strength and the potential amount of dips that you can possibly do and increase the difficulty by progressively overloading. And if you can comfortably do body weight dips, then I recommend you switch to doing weighted dips in around the four to eight rep range, allowing you to maximize strength and increase the difficulty in dips rather than just repeating an easy exercise over and over again, which makes it a lot harder to progressively overload. My goal is to rep out 90 pounds for weighted dips for six reps. So watch this video of why I quit bodybuilding in order to achieve this future goal. And click on this video to learn about why calisthenics is superior to bodybuilding according to science. And please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If I don't hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll come to your house and I'll place a bomb beside your computer.